Okay, so we're going to have a look here at the situation where you've been working and recording your class uh, data in a version 25 and a new version 28 comes out. Why you haven't got 26 and 27, I don't know. But let's have a look at what you would do. Let's just firstly open version uh, 25, your actual classroom data. Just bear with me a second as I resize the screens so you're going to enable the macros you're going to accept the uh, um, warnings there and you've got this data uh, now let me raise that up a little bit you've got the data for all of your 30 students here so this is something you may have spent hours doing you certainly don't want to throw it away or lose it because uh, there's been an upgrade to the uh, to the, the tracking tool. So let's close that without saving it now. So here's your new version. This is what you would do. We're going to open this new version. And when you receive a new version for the first time, you should find that it will have a lot of blankness it doesn't have names just placeholders so the first thing we go is by the menu tab to the controls and we're going to go import data so there's some warnings here please do read uh, these as you go along I'm not going to spend any time on them now but it's warnings just to get yourself organized before you do this so that there's no problem uh, with losing any data so we're going to continue to run the import yes. So what it's looking for now is for you to point to that uh, the, the uh, classroom data that you have. Forgive me while I find it. So here's your classroom data. So what file do you want the data to come from? So this is my classroom data. That's what I want it to come from. What will happen is it will ask you if you're happy to save that backup file, which you should say OK to. And then this will just run away. There's some flashing of the screen, etc. And finally, you get a uh, read carefully, which is telling you that a backup of your class in school data was made with today's date on it. And the current file that we're now sitting in needs to be saved because this is this is the one. So. We're OK with that. We're going to exit the form. If we look at the student records here now, you'll see that we're now in the new file, version 28, and all of your data has been accurately sucked in. So you're exactly where you were on the old version of the file. So that's how you deal with the uh, import of data from a previous version. You can see we're now in version 28.